Hi, my name is Liz Butterfield. I am one of the technology trainers at the Putnam County District Library. My services are made available through the Guiding Ohio online grant from the State Library of Ohio and the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Today I will be discussing Hoopla, which is an app that offers digital media available through the library that allows patrons to borrow audiobooks, ebooks, comics, movies, and even music. This app is free to use and all you need is your library card and an email account. So to access Hoopla, you can either go to your app store and search for it, or I highly recommend instead going to the library's webpage, mypcdl.org, which I have right here. Um, from there, just click on the menu dropdown. And from there, we're going to click on the e-media tab, and that's gonna bring you to a new page. And we're going to scroll down and then we're going to click on um, the Hoopla image. This is going to take us to the Hoopla website. And you can either download the app or you can use it directly from the web browser. If you don't have an account set up through Hoopla, go ahead and click on the Get Started Today button. From there, go ahead and fill in all the necessary information. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Um, you will need an email address and we'll have to set up a password. Once your account is created, then you uh, should have to choose your library. Um, you'll go ahead and type in the Putnam County District Library and then select it off the dropdown. Next, it should ask for you to input your library card number. Um, this is the number on the back of your library card. And if you're having trouble with the stuff, then your library card might need updated. Um, to update your library card, contact the library at the Ottawa location at 419-523-3747. Um, now I'm going to show you how to search for an ebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and log in. Maybe. Here we go. This is my home page. Um, so from the app in the top right corner, we can see the search button. Um, so we are going to click on this and it will open a new search bar page uh, in the app. Uh, from the website, it's just going to include the search bar onto the page that you already have open. Um, from here, we can either type the title, the author, or the series to find what you're looking for. As an example, I'm going to search for The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. And, uh, by Kim Michelle Richardson, which is the Putnam County District Library's virtual book discussion book for this month. As you can see, as I type it in, the app presents a dropdown to autocomplete what it is that you want. And uh, eventually the title that I am typing in does appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Um, but I also could have finished typing and hit enter as well. This search brings up uh, two results. Um, It is available as an ebook as well as an audiobook. Now, an ebook is just another way to say uh, a digital copy of a book, while an audiobook is a book that is a recording of someone reading the book. If we click on the ebook, um, it will open a new page, and that presents us with a lot of information. You can see how long the ebook is. Right here, we can see 320 um, print pages, which might not be the same if you're on an iPhone versus an iPad, for example. Um, we can see what year it came out, um, 2019, right up here. And this is all a little different on the app. Um, we can see the genre, the publisher, and it goes on. 
Um, now, near the top of the page, you can see, well, okay. This is a little different um, than the app. Now, in the app, there are, uh, near the top of the page, there will be, from the left, uh, three buttons, uh, favorite, borrow, and share. The favorite button allows you to sort of bookmark a title, um, an author, or even uh, particular music albums. Um, and that's the little heart button that we can see right here. This is a uh, favorite. So if I'm going to go ahead and click that, that uh, book is immediately added into my favorites. And this allows you to quickly get back to these items, which is especially convenient when you cannot immediately borrow it. Um, and your favorites can be found on the home page in the favorites tab. The share button allows you to share a title to an email, a social media, or even text it to others. Um, now, on the website, I don't immediately see a share button, but I do see up at the top on the right, we can see that they have include a Facebook and a Twitter um, link. Otherwise, I don't see anywhere where you can really uh, share this particular title with somebody else. But of course you can share the, um, if we go up here to the uh, URL, you can copy and paste and send it that way in like an email or something. Um, now this button is the borrow button, which is uh, the main button we're gonna focus on. So if you just created your account, then you should have seven borrows available for you for the month. And this renews every month, um, no matter if you borrowed three or seven titles last month, you'll have seven borrows every month available. This includes all titles and across all media platforms. So whether you're on your iPad, iPhone, um, on the website, and whether you check out a music album, an ebook, an audiobook, possibly like two children's ebooks and two movies, that would be your entire month's borrows because that would be seven titles. Um, this is a little tricky when it comes to music because some music are particular songs as one borrow and some are a whole album is one borrow. And they're very, uh, descriptive about that. So um, to borrow something, all you have to do is click on the borrow button um, on the title that you want. As an example, we'll go back to the, the book woman of Troublesome Creek. And so we're just going to go ahead and click this blue borrow button. And it's going to pop up with this, are you sure uh, text. And um, it should also, within this text, let you know how long the borrow is good for and also if that title is available for download or for streaming. Um, streaming would be, you know, if you borrowed a movie or a TV show. Uh, so you can see right here that this title is available for 21 days. Um, it's pretty uh, usual amount of time that they do for ebooks uh, and it is available for streaming and downloading but on mobile devices only so I won't be able to download this title onto my computer um, and it says are you sure and so if we are sure that this is the title we want i um, going to go ahead and just hit that borrow again and you can see on the website it does pop up that I can enjoy this title, da da da. Um, and uh, it's letting me know that I can't download it onto the, uh, on the web page, but I can on my phone or, uh, you know, reading device or what have you. 
do. Let's see. Now, if we go back to the home page, you can see that um, my borrows uh, immediately get um, my amount bar. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, you can see that my amount available to borrow immediately changes as well as the book immediately appears within my um, borrows, currently borrowed. Uh, okay, so Hoopla is also doing this really great thing right now uh, during this crisis. You may have seen this on our Facebook page. Um, I know we've posted about it and um, we're very excited about what they're doing. Um, they are offering certain titles for free. Um, they do not count against your borrows for the month. So you can see that I have five titles left this month. Yet I've borrowed, I have four things borrowed currently. This is because uh, I have bonus borrows. Um, or I have borrowed bonus <laughs> borrows, goodness. Um, so to find these titles, you can either search for bonus borrows in the search bar, which I will show you real quick. Okay. So this is going to bring up all bonus borrows across all medias. Now, if you go to the sort button, which I believe, yes, on the website, it is a filter button. Um, on the app, it is a sort button. So it's just a difference of where, where it starts out on either side of these tabs. We, what we want to go to is the filter. Um, and then we're going to click on format. And then from there, you can choose what kind of bonus borrow uh, media that you want to look at or check out. Um, so you can see there's quite a bit that are completely for free. I, I believe there's over a thousand titles that they have made available. And a lot of them are very uh, popular titles as well. Um, but we can also, if we go back to the homepage, um, and click on any of the media links, um, which on the app, it's a little different. So on the app, you usually at the top here, you can see the different types of um, media tabs that you can go to um, from the website. You're going to click on this little menu next to Hoopla. And then right here are these links, are, are these media links that I'm talking about. So, for example, if we go to um, movies, right, um, then you can see that they have these uh, tabs available. So, what we're going to go to is categories. On the app, it's called genres. It's a little different, <laughs> but you can see immediately that the one of the top categories is bonus borrows all movies. Um, and with these bonus borrows, a lot of time on most of the media links, they have it separated as well, where they have bonus borrows all movies or ebooks and then they have bonus borrows all kids movies ebooks whatever um so hoopla is really kid friendly so if we click on this bonus borrows all movies um it will bring up a list of results and to borrow these selections say you want to borrow uh curious george uh, it works the same as a regular borrow, just that it doesn't count as one of your seven borrows for the month. So if I wanted to borrow this title, again, I would just hit the borrow 
and hit borrow again. Not going to because um, I actually already watched this this week. <laughs> um, but if we go back to the home page, um, I will now show you how to turn on kids mode. Um, so from the app, the top right corner, you can see the kids button next to the search button, which we can see right here on the website as well. Um, and so if you just click on that, immediately the um, website or the app uh, goes into kids mode and hides all titles that aren't considered kid friendly. So if we scroll down, we can see that the only borrow that it actually shows for me now is Alice in Wonderland um, because the rest of the titles are not considered kid friendly enough, um, mostly because they're adult titles. Uh, but if we click on this again, again, immediately the um, app or the website will leave excuse me, um, leave the kids mode and um, switch. Now this feature can also be found in the settings tab, um, which in the app can be found when um, you click on the three dots. Um, it's usually right around right here to the right of the kids uh, mode uh, button. But I believe it's over here. Yep. Uh, in this menu drop down. And so right here you can see settings. If we click on that in the website, um, you can see that if you scroll down a little bit right here, kids mode, again, you can turn that on. Uh, now within settings, you can also link to your TV um, to stream a TV series or um, movies that you have borrowed. This is, I believe, particular to, yeah, it's only for the app um, versus on the website. Um, now, you can also change your password, um, or you can even select to only download over Wi-Fi. Again, these are all um, particular to the app. On here, on the website, uh, Mostly you can only do kids mode or they do allow you to, um, whether they keep track of your borrowing history, like showing it or not. Um, which if we go back to the home page, you can see if we scroll down, you can see that uh, my new borrows have been added immediately and my bump, my monthly borrow number is also updated immediately. And, um, and here's the rest of my borrows for the month, right? Now, if we scroll down even further, ooh, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Ah, okay. So that's a little different in the website. Um, in the app, if you scroll down from the home page and beneath your currently borrowed, we'll show your past borrowed. Um, in the website, uh, there's a little uh, link to your borrowing history. So it's a completely different page, um, which you can see right here. Uh, now, What's nice about the fact that they keep track of what you have borrowed in the past um, and since have, have been returned um, is when you check out titles, once the time is up, the titles automatically return themselves within the app. So it's really convenient. Um, so you don't have to worry about forgetting to log in, return items, as well as um, being able to quickly find something you weren't quite finished with as well to borrow again. Um, renewing isn't uh, a thing on Hoopla. So if we're going to go back to the homepage, um, I really hope 
that this this little tutorial session was helpful. Um, and if you need any help at all, um, you can contact the PCDL um, by emailing me at lbutterfield at seolibraries.org or the PCDL webmaster at seolibraries.org. Or you can always call the Ottawa location at 419-523-3747. Thank you.